Um, so I just, I haven't actually ever tried to use it, but uh, gave it a shot. So using one of the kickoff videos, I trained it to um, detect the red and blue balls. Um, and all it's doing is like color matching uh, blobs that are greater than a certain size. If I understand right, I've spent maybe like 20 minutes on this so far. Um, so it seems to work like reasonably well. Um, you can set up like, uh, what, like seven or eight different, um, uh, like unique objects to detect. Uh, there's not a ton of flexibility, like, so for, you'll see later that it, like, detects some of the lines on the field as, um, as red balls. Um, so, like, uh, you can't have the reported, like, detected targets, um, toss out, uh, reports based on their, like, width height ratio, like you might be able to do on the, um, the limelight. But I think you can get the uh, detected objects dimensions um, like, or a number of pixels. Like so You can get some information about it uh, over serial. So you could um, presumably like toss out uh, items that you, you think are not actually balls. I don't know. There's some like tuning effort required here. Uh, these aren't being detected because they're, they were small. But I could go backwards and like, zoom in more. I'm basically, I'm throwing out, like, like small targets. Um, yeah, there's some, like, false positives right there. Um, yeah, so, like, detecting that and not thinking it's a ball would be important. Um, but, and then there's some, like, that blue ball in the background there is mostly black on my screen. So, um, you could train, like, a separate identifier, I think, like, uh, like have basically two separate classifiers for uh, different color balls to like account for kind of what they look like in different lighting. And then in software, just be like, okay, anything that's like in a category that we would consider to be a red ball, like uh, object detected as class one, two, seven, those are all reds, something like that. Um, that would be a way of like kind of solving that problem, I think. But, um, I don't know, it seems like to mostly work. There's definitely some, like, fine-tuning required. Um, lighting is probably important. So this thing does have, like, a, a built-in, uh, I don't know how to turn it on. There's some LEDs on board you can turn on. I don't have to, uh, there we go, here's the light. Yeah, so there's just, like, bunch of LEDs on the board. They're pretty bright, like they're uncomfortable to look at, but uh, it's not like insane or bright. Um, yeah, so yeah, you can see a bunch of false positives. So like, the obviously the lighting here has changed um, and that's affected the, the color detection. Um, For the most part, it seems to work. 